hear my voice. Can't you? Good. <laughs> I could not bear the thought of my lady's voice not reaching your ears. Hi! Hi! So, is it starting? So it seems. In that case... Yeah. Shall we begin? suppose there's too much left to say. There's not. It's the same as always. We're both us, so we have the same skills. I'll summon these up and defeat you. Yes, even though you're also me. There. Here! You won't, you won't escape! Fall power. Power. Uh. As I continue attacking, these will start to disappear. Uh. That said, these are useful when attacking hard. Yeah, and they're also very cool. Take Definitely. Uh, uh, there. Building up force before attacking Take. takes a little more time. Yeah, is it about time? Here. Just about, yes. Then let's end this. Uh, there. Yes, just like always. Uh, Let it begin. There. What a beautiful morning! You sure are full of energy. Are you not full of energy too? Ah, oh, you're too old. I was investigated and interrogated all day yesterday. For a minute, it actually looked like they would throw me in jail. Well, I do apologize. It's just that you truly don't look like an archaeologist. Oh, but I do look like some kind of tomb-raiding bandit. Well, the Ludi Realm awaits us. Let's visit the attractions and take in the sights. I know. I'll find a fortune teller. That should be fun!
there she goes. Wait! My lady! Get moving, Raul! Off your feet! Oh, I have to go after her, too? Aren't you free? You don't have work or anything, do you? I did have it, but a certain someone obstructed it. Oh, yeah? Who was that? I'm scared that you might be asking seriously. She'll be at the fortune teller's place by now. Take the right hand bridge to reach it. Sylveyor is the richest nation in the Federation. But with the Empire next door, we're constantly at war. Why would being near the Empire mean constant war? Why? Ah, because the Empire is after us. But isn't the Federation after the Empire, too? No, we have no reason to attack them. The Surveyor serves Aglaia. We'd never wage an unjust war. That sounds pretty arbitrary. What? Uh, never mind him. <laughs> Can we get going, Charles? There's a Federation school for knights here in Ludoro. What do Federation knights do? Well, they're knights. They fight for justice. Does justice mean fighting the Empire? I suppose so, yes. Would you still say that if the Federation had started the war? Whoa, whoa, enough, Charles. Sorry, old lady. We didn't mean to cause any offense. Hey, who are you calling an old lady? Seems one of us did mean to cause offense, Raul. I, uh, sorry. Why she want to get her fortune told anyway? Any adventure is driven by one's fortune. That's what my lady told me. What? This isn't some kind of story. Did you just disagree with my lady? No, no. Then let's catch up with her at once. And you wouldn't believe what he said then. What? Oh, that's awful! I know! And he claimed to think it was the right thing to do! I can't deal with him any longer. What does the right thing even mean anyway? Oh, they look busy, Charles. Let's, uh, let's go another way. Excuse me, did you see a young lady run past? A very sweet and elegant one? Who are you talking about? I did give a girl directions to the fortune teller. She darted off towards the south gate as soon as I did. I see. Thank you. Keep going this way and you'll hit Antoine Forest. Bona Village is through the cave, just past the coast. But unless you have urgent business there, I'd avoid it. Why is that? Travelers not allowed? It's because of all the beasts. Aren't beasts a problem everywhere these days? These aren't woodland beasts. Cave beasts are way tougher. I hear the Night Academy uses that spot for training. Hmm. That's very interesting. I know what you think. And don't. Halt! You're a kidnapper, aren't you, old man? You got two things wrong there, kid. One, I'm not an old man. And two, I'm definitely not a kidnapper. Liar! That's exactly what a kidnapping old man would say. 
I see great things in this child's future. Charles. Young man, I see the shadow of death upon you. That doesn't matter. Uh, I think it kind of does. Did a sweet, beautiful, elegant, graceful, and an overall wonderful young lady come by here? I don't know anyone like that. But there was a girl who ran off towards the market after having me tell her her fortune. Thanks for the tip. The market, then. Ooh, are you going to the marketplace? That's our intention, yes. The market's right past this gate there. And it would seem your visitor's here, yes? Buy yourselves a souvenir! We will, thanks. He threw in a little advertising at the end. Clever. Excuse me, which way is it to the market? Oh, out shopping with your father, young man. Oh, him? No, he's just a petty criminal I came across. I... I, I don't even know what to say. The market's right up ahead. Did you see an elegant, graceful young lady pass by? Hmm, I don't think so. But I did just see an awkwardly loud girl run into the market. Hmm, no clues here then. Hey, were you even listening? A smartly dressed gentlewoman recently? You're consistent. I'll give you that. No, but I saw this spoiled rich girl just a minute ago. Whoa, yeah, yeah, there's a rare reaction. Ask the shopkeeper there where she went. I will. Thank you. Excuse me. Yes, yes? Have you seen an extremely elegant... An extremely loud-mouthed girl around here? Oh, I sure did. Do you know where she went? She wanted to go see the primordial beast. So I told her to visit the church first. The church? She sure does move quickly, doesn't she? Wanna head over to the church then? Do you know where it is? Yeah, I mean, this isn't my first time here. It's right past the left-hand bridge. You're actually being quite useful for a change, Raoul. Thanks. I live to serve. This market's the kitchen of Sylveyor. Care to buy something, young man? What was that? Young man? 
Yes! Thank you, ma'am. I so appreciate it. Time to spread my money around a little. You have money to spread around? Oh. Uh, sorry, lady. I'll be back soon. Travelers? Then you simply must come see the gallant Lord Aglaia! I thought you churchy types like to act all tranquil and sweet. This woman is stifling. Hey, now. Here. Right here. I've wanted to come here for so long. Look at that view! It was worth braving a few beast attacks to get here. Is this spot really that special? Can't you tell just by looking at it? Take a look at what you can see down there. Aglaia's magnificent form in the great city of Luteron. I feel so small in comparison. You can get a fine view of Lord Aglaia from here. Whenever I feel like I'm at a crossroads in my life, I come here to consider which path I ought to take. May the primordial beast be with us. We are all blessed by Lord Aglaia. Question to you, travelers. A young man has committed theft. What do you think of this? Stealing isn't good. What if the man stole medicine to heal his ailing mother? Then he's a kind and compassionate man. And to him, that theft must have seemed just. Yes, justice and evil are difficult concepts. Best to keep that in mind, my friend. Hmm. Uh, finally. What took you so long? Apologies, my lady. Greetings. Is this the first time you've been to Luterome? Yes, it certainly is. I spoke to someone kind, who suggested that I come and pray. You know, in preparation for my visit to the Primordial Beast. It was prudent of you to listen. You see, the Panthera Lord, Aglaia, is the guide of justice. And as Aglaia famously said, in order to find true justice, you must have an unwavering heart. Therefore, if you act with a heart that is always steadfast, then there is no doubt that your actions will always be just. That's simply fascinating! Hold on, wouldn't that imply that anything could be just? So long as you sincerely believe in what you're doing? You're precisely right, but also, it means that your justice may only be just to you. Huh? 
What do you mean by that? Something seen by one person as just may be seen as evil by another. Justice and evil are difficult things. Thus, we must learn and struggle as we each seek and follow the paths we believe in. So, can you judge if something's evil or not? Charles? I am here only to serve Aglaya. I am in no position to judge. How did you manage to take up so much time saying nothing? <laughs> Sorry, he's a rebellious child, so... Anna Maria, can we get going, please? Uh, um, sure. Thank you, Pastor. May Aglaya bless you all. Right, off to see the Primordial, then. Charles, next time you feel like starting an argument, would you mind picking a better place, time, and victim? He's right. That wasn't very nice. I've never seen you be so critical before. Uh, sorry, what? He's been pretty critical of me so far. My apologies. I too am surprised by my actions. I don't know what it was that irked me so. closest we can possibly get to the Primordial. You're gonna worry people. You sound like quite the enthusiasts. You could try going past this gate and to the right. It's a treacherous path, though. I fear no treacherous path. It is but another trial in my grand adventure. I, I guess you must be very enthusiastic believers. I think we gave them the wrong idea. <laughs> It's a lot more human to wear your emotions on your sleeve than to hide them under a smile anyway. More human? I'm not sure how to respond. I'm not actually human at all. What are you talking about? I'd like to ask you the same. <laughs> Funny, Raoul. Huh? Why do I feel like I'm the weird one here? This makes no sense. Ugh, you're scaring me. All the students you see around here go to that academy. We got places to relax inside the academy too, but it's not exactly easy to unwind there. Especially now when you're playing hooky like I am. Uh, don't tell anyone that last bit. I eat my lunch here pretty often. But there's something about this view of the academy. That makes me feel a little queasy, to be honest. Do you dislike the Academy? No, it's it's not that. It's just... Things are really strict here. The Blaze instructor is especially demanding. Just looking at her driller students gives me chills. And yet you attend this school willingly. What a curious choice. It reminds me of life in the mansion a little. This is Edis Knight Academy. 
I'm sorry, but we're not open to the public. What is a Knight Academy for, exactly? It's where young soldiers train to shoulder the country's future. My, how impressive. There appear to be quite a few youths our age there. What fun! I've always wanted to attend a school. Do you allow outsiders to experience student life here? No, we don't do that. I am devastated. There's no future for a school that refuses my lady. Give him a break. Liar is known as the guide of justice. It is said that his words of wisdom are what gave rise to the Knight's Code of Chivalry. Is this code set in stone? Yes, it's a path for knights to follow. But that is only one facet of Aglaia's teachings. Aglaia guides us down many just paths. Chivalry isn't the only justice out there. It all seems so vague to me. I hear that if you continue on this path, you can get really close to Lord Aglaia, but the path is really rough. They say the journey is exhausting, and once you've braved it, you might be too weak to get back. If you wish to go, be brave and sally forth. But I saw a sleepy looking guy go down there with a girl. And neither one of them have come back. I, I just can't do it. Intentions aside, that was a most interesting conversation. Oh, about what justice is and all that? Yes. They say Aglaia did a lot to shape our thoughts on morality. Aglaia was even behind the modern code of chivalry. Aid the weak and crush the strong. Now those are some words I'd like to live by. That's just lovely, my lady. <laughs> Take that! Here I go! Chivalry, huh? It never made much sense to me, honestly. But I get what the pastor told us. About how justice is a matter of perspective and all. You didn't see it like that idea, Charles. You not pretend to understand me when you don't? Uh. We've almost reached the primordial beast! <laughs>
It looked heroic enough, even viewed from a distance. But viewed up close, it's absolutely awe-inspiring! I know it's impressive, but could you please try to keep it down? Look there, we're not the only people visiting right now. You're right! I wonder what those two are doing! Uh... Yeah, I don't have a clue. But look, it's not polite to pry into other people's business. Wait, for real? Yes, and it's not polite to shout in public either. <gasps> See? And now you've gone and bothered them. Hey. Hey, sorry. We'll try to be more quiet. No, it isn't that. Your friend. Is there something wrong with him? Oh, no. Hey, Charles. You okay? <laughs> Take it. feel sick. As you can see, I'm perfectly operational. Huh. Well, you didn't look so good earlier. Try not to overdo it, okay? Earlier? You don't remember? Where are we? Who knows? That's not very helpful. Well, complaining to me won't solve anything. Why are you having trouble accepting that? You must be getting stubborn with age. Yep, it's the same old Charles, all right. So, where are we? Who knows? You feel better now? Pardon? I felt fine this entire time. I see. You're an odd one. Could this be? No way. Do you know where we are? You... These results I'm getting... So then... That would mean... <sighs> um... What? Unproven intruders, I do not yet bid you welcome. But... I shall ask you what it is you seek. Knowledge? Or power? Hey! Tell us where we are, and who you are. I don't have any idea what's going on here. Ooh, ooh! Okay, I'll answer first. I seek power, a great deal of it preferably. The power to mow down any bad guys I come across. I'll choose that too, since my lady is never wrong. How can you two be so carefree? It's not that hard a choice. What'll you pick? I guess... Power. I'll choose that too. Great, welcome to the team. Seeing as I'm an archaeologist, I'll take knowledge. I'll pick knowledge, too. Huh, what do you know? The choices you make shall determine the path you walk. Liddy! Raoul's gone, too. <laughs> we got split up. I need to find Liddy. Here I go. And we need to search for Raoul. Let's go. 
Ted? Why should we join you? You're a stranger to us. Oh, come now, Charles. Okay, so don't follow me. Wait one moment! I apologize for my friend's rudeness. Let's work together for now, all right? My lady! Whatever. Thank you very much! Let's start by introducing ourselves. My name is Anna Maria. Mine's Charles. I'm Ed. Oh, and our missing companion is named Raoul. Well, mine is a client, so I can't give you her name. Didn't you yell out Liddy just a moment ago? disclose your clients details often that doesn't seem very ethical it's certainly not professional Charles stop that at least we know not to trust you now right my lady <laughs> Charles is being terribly rude I apologize on his behalf here you're fine nothing to worry about it's just a child yapping at me what miss me over there! If I must... Full power! You won't forget! say I'm worried exactly you look panicked I was in the middle of guarding her enough aimless chatter let's move over. Here! If she's just a client, then why act so flustered? Isn't it obvious? If my client disappears, so does my payment. Meaning all the hard work I've put in would be for nothing. Is money all you care about? How shameful. Said like someone who's never been poor. from afar this whole time yeah it's bizarre the only bizarre thing I can see in here huh. what are you talking about 
This entire place is bizarre. You can see it, can't you? It's always something with you. That light does seem rather strange, though. I almost feel like it's guiding us towards it. No good. Go in. Looks like that's our only option. No matter what happens next, I'll protect you, my lady. Are you all right, my lady? Mm hmm. No issues here. Guess we've been taken elsewhere. Speak truly. The power that you seek. Is it for defeating your foes? Or for protecting your companions? You may only choose one. Here we go again. I suppose we'll have to discuss this. And come to a group consensus. Let's just pick one and get moving. Well, I'm here to defeat great evil. And I want to protect my companions. Seems we're at an impasse. Majority vote decides then. You're the tiebreaker. Charles, you agree with me, don't you? You want power so you can vanquish great evil, right? Charles, I will always take your side, my lady. We can celebrate once we've dealt with these things. Here, take this! I'll protect you, my lady! Full power! You can do this? Of course I can. Get off your pipe. up ahead of course my lady if you wish to stand up to this great evil then i shall stand at your side charles my lady shut up my apologies you've no need to apologize my lady he is just acting bitter because i didn't take his side earlier how child there, there. over there Seriously, if you can't be serious, then shut up. Is that directed at my lady as well? Huh. How rude! Huh. Charles, leave him be. My lady? Ah. What is 
clearly worried sick about Liddy. Just look at him. You won't. The way we were carrying on was downright insensitive. To be perfectly honest, we deserve to be chided. If... if you're sure that's the case, my lady... No, I was out of line. Oh. Then why don't we call it even? Sure. Now go! Over here! We've seen this before. Did we get taken back? Are we wandering in circles? Please don't worry. I'll forge a path for you, my lady. Yeah, but will it actually take us somewhere? Might be somewhere new now. Yes, but I don't see Raul or Lydia around. Nothing to do but keep going. Hopefully, we'll come across them soon. Yeah. No need to worry. If Raul is with her, she'll be just fine. Is Raul your bodyguard? Huh? What makes you think that? You're a fancy noble. The kid's your servant. So that guy must be your bodyguard, right? I'm not some fancy noble. You're not? You're as wrong as can be! A man like you will never be my lady's bodyguard! But she is highborn, though. And yes, she's terribly fancy as well! Charles? That's supposed to be a secret! There's no hiding your elegance, my lady. Th there's not? Trats. I suppose it just bubbles out of me, doesn't it? It does, my lady. Nay, it rushes out in a torrent. So who is that Raoul guy, then? He's a self-proclaimed archaeologist. He's a suspicious drifter. And you're saying she'll be safe with him? Quiet, 
isn't it? Yes, and the path is so straight. They do say that it gets calm before a storm, you know? How exciting! Please don't make ominous predictions. I ask you, would you abandon a missing friend? Or brave a challenging path to find them? The answer's obvious. Even if Raoul was here, we'd still brave this path ourselves. And if anyone obstructs my lady's path, I'll strike him down no matter who he may be! The choice is made. Ooh, here comes the usual gang. Don't take this thing lightly. This is serious. Well, adventures are all about facing adversity, right? Adventure? Is that what this is? Seems like a pain in the butt that won't earn me a single gall. shown proof of your power. Therefore, I grant you permission to proceed. So high and mighty. I think he really might be. My lady's as high and mighty as they come. No one compares. No one at all? You mean, I'm the highest, mightiest person in the world? Stop acting stupid. Let's do this. Hold on, wait for us! M my lady! This seems to be a different type of light than we saw before. It feels like we're being sucked into it. We're somewhere new again. Yes. And there's more path ahead of us. I still don't see any sign of Raoul or Liddy. Where could they be? When I meet the master of this place, I'll chew him right out. How dare he cause all this trouble for my lady. Here I go. Here! Full power! things they aren't attacking us no but i feel like we're being watched someone's keeping in on us how scandalous wait this be raul we thought we lost you but now this oh no not too nice of a way to treat him 
Before were. It's also quite a bit curvier. Are we just gonna keep going down? It goes on forever. I'm starting to get dizzy. Be careful, my lady! Please watch your step as we proceed. All right. Thanks, Charles. Fall, I bet. Do you take my lady for a fool? She knows we'd fall. She's asking what would happen after. Um, we'd die. We'd die? Well, I don't know that for sure. If there's no ground to hit, then maybe we'd survive. And what would happen if we did survive? We'd probably just keep falling. That's even scarier! Both fates are certainly to be avoided, my lady. There! Over there! I still don't understand this place. But I'm starting to get used to it. Wonderful! You are most adaptive, my lady! That light up ahead seems rather pretty now. You're right. But what is it? That light, it's... perhaps... Do you know something we don't, Ed? No. Then why are you acting all smart? I don't know what it is, but I do have an idea. And if I'm right, things could get scary. Master of this place, or that voice we heard, it worries me. Ugh, don't tell me you're about to lose your nerve. If he's who I think he is, then maybe I am. When we first came here, the voice called us intruders. For all we know, it's right. Willingly or not, we might be trespassing here. Oh my! You think we might have broken into his home? Yeah. And if we did, he'd have every reason to be angry. Especially at... Why are you looking at me? It hasn't even occurred to you? <laughs> huh? Okay, but if we are uninvited guests here, then couldn't the Master simply throw us out? Surely he could. I doubt he'd bother asking us questions if he was that cross. Good point. He must have some other motive. Well, his reasons matter not to me. I shan't let him pose a threat to my lady. My lady, look! So, we're flying off again, are we? How many times does this make? If you don't like it, you can always stay behind.
and we've arrived somewhere new. Though it does look rather familiar. Think we can expect another question soon. I ask you, the power that you seek, will it swallow all that lies before it like the raging sea? Or pierce a single point like a swift shard of ice? Make your choice. Again? I want to be like the raging sea. Then I can wash everything away with the stroke of my hand. I'd rather pick a single target that I know I can pierce. I, uh... The Raging Sea sounds far stronger to me. Don't you want that kind of power too, Charles? Right here, just a moment ago. Come on! Uh, who cares about him? Come on! None of that now. We all agreed to work together. With or without them, I'll keep you safe. There! If I must. Hey, full power! Now, go! More enemies, my lady! Awesome! Now I'm even more! with me, Charles. I will always be at your side, my lady. Right. Now, let's find everyone else. There are two lights here. Which one should we head towards? Please, choose for me, Charles. Me? Choose? That's right. I leave my fate in your hands. I don't know where we are right now, but this is a rather exciting adventure. You're right. Maybe there's a sword and a stone up ahead, just waiting for me to pull it out. Ooh! Then you'd become a legendary swordsman! Or no, you'd be a legendary lady! Oh? Wouldn't a swordsman be better? You will always be a true lady, my lady. I suppose so. There! Oh, power! <laughs> On a side note, I hope we can finish touring Ludorome after this. If you pardon my saying so, my lady, you may need to adjust your concept of relaxation. Oh? Why do you say that? With the way you were sprinting around town, I almost lost you. I see. My apologies. Let's take it more slowly next time. Why'd you act so quarrelsome in the church, anyway? Forgive me, please. But the idea that one person's justice 
could be evil to someone else. It bothers me. Should things really be left that vague? Well, remember the other thing the pastor said. That's why all of us must strive to learn as we search for a path that we can believe in. In other words, if you're wondering if something is just, then the only question you need to ask yourself is whether you can believe in it. Whether you can believe in it. That's what he said anyway. Personally, I don't know if he's right or not. Let's think it over together. Very well, my lady. Oh? What's this? The path must have led back here. are strong, Charles. Not to mention reliable. Of course, my lady. I will always blaze a trail for you. Oh, I can't have that. It's up to me to blaze our trail. Wise words, my lady. And said with such resolve. <laughs> Impressive, my lady. A superb meal. Then there's nothing to worry about. It's too bad the doctor isn't here. We could have discussed this if he was. True. Hopefully he's all right. Oh, I'm sure he is. Now we're on a new path. Yes. Although the scenery hasn't changed. Do you think Ed is all right? If you and I are together, that must mean he's fighting alone. Don't you think he'd be fine? I'm loath to praise him, but he's a decent fighter. You're right. Let's trust that he'll be fine and keep moving. Yes, my lady. Together again, huh? Thank heavens! My lady, over there! Raoul! And you're safe as well, Raoul? Thank you for protecting Liddy for me. Hey! Your thanks makes it all worth it. Nice to see someone sane around here. Hey, about those two. Did they say anything about me? You're a drifter and a self-proclaimed archaeologist. <sighs> Sorry about that. Kinda feel like I dumped them in your lap. Liddy! You all right? Yes, are you okay? I'm fine. Oh, good. You sound pretty relieved. I can't have my client dying on me. I'll let you leave it at that. I ask you, 
Which boon would you wish to receive? Is your heart's desire a way to clear a path towards the future? Or would you prefer a way to cut yourself free from the past? Uh, again? Alright, in that case... Hold it! Let's agree on an answer first. That'll stop us from getting split up again, right? I wouldn't recommend trying it. Liddy, I know what this is. Same here. I suspect that we're on the same page. I see. Assuming we're right, I think it would be best if each of us answered the question with our own honest thoughts. My own... honest thoughts? I... Right then. This one seems straightforward. In fact, I think I'm ready to give my answer now. I wish to clear a path to the future. Actually, I've been clearing one this whole time. I thought you would say that, my lady. Of course. The better to keep adventuring freely. It's a real interesting question, isn't it? I suppose I'd want a path to the future. You can't change or toss out the past, really. Certainly not at your age, no. Okay, that hurts. But yeah, I'd say it's better to look towards the future. Huh. Whatever. You could at least try to act interested in what I'm saying! My answer. I'd want a fresh start, free from the past. As I see it, that's the only answer. What does clearing a path forward amount to? It's just another way of settling your past. Why are you trying to act cool? <sighs> stay calm, Ed. Just stay calm. You should really give your own honest answer here. So don't think too hard about anyone else's. What do you plan to say? I'd like to have a clean break from the past. That approach seems more efficient to me. A free future can only get you so far. But that's my personal answer. You need to come up with your own. Freedom for the future or from the past? If... if I had to choose... Charles? Yeah, I figured you'd go with us. Let's search for a free future together! And we're split up again. Yes, I think we could have seen this coming. Let's start by beating these bad guys! Really now? Ah! Oh, yeah. That doesn't count. Yeah. There! Depends on how capable Ed is. Oh, he was quite a fighter. Most impressive. 
Perhaps even stronger than you, Raoul. Then there's nothing to worry about, is there? Liddy's quite reliable as well, for a kid anyway. So says the Tomb Raider. Sorry, Drifter Archaeologist. Neither way, you're the least reliable person I've met. Your big mouth just keeps getting bigger. Charles, I know you mean well, but try not to take it too far. Huh? Huh? What? When you insult people like that, you're really just expressing your affection for them, right? I don't think that's it at all. Why in the world would I ever care to express affection for Raoul? Oh? Okay, we regrouped pretty quickly this time. It's him. Aglaia, the Panthera Lord. Hey, Anna Maria, Charles too. Charles? You may lift up your heads. I do not welcome you here. However, I will allow you an audience. That's most generous. You have my thanks. Also, please let me apologize for... Fear not. It is apparent that you intended no harm. What's more? I watched as you approached. I overheard your conversations. Between the choices I have watched you make, and also the words I heard you speak as you approached me, I've knowledge enough to judge each of you, but I wish to be sure. Therefore, I would learn more about the three of you before I make my judgment. So come. Demonstrate your knowledge, your strength. And let me see if you'd use it to help our heart. Charles. I'm sure they're just fine. 
You believe in men, don't you, Liddy? It's that. Hey. Yeah, you're right. You. Then let's focus on doing what we need to do here. Holding up rather well. You're doing wonderfully, my lady. Your powers are divine. That's not it. Lord Aglaia is clearly holding back. He isn't motivated by a desire to win. He's watching us. Judge him. How dare he get judged? No, Charles. If that is Lord Aglaia's motive, then we must announce the opportunity. Now, here's your chance! Give them all you have, Charles! Yes, my lady! Well, I've judged each of you, your strength and your knowledge. Is it over? Young lady whose heart shines with untarnished justice. Hold on, are you talking to me? I hope you'll continue to walk. Path of justice you have chosen. And child who seeks destruction and demise. I hope your future will shine bright instead of falling to darkness. What is that supposed to mean? A new entity that is no one at present. I hope you find a path of your own. One that will truly be yours. Lord Aglaia, please tell me. It's this world of a... That I am unable to tell you. Lord Aglaia! May the paths you take be blessed by guiding light. Liddy, are you okay? Yes. Don't scare me like that. Okay. You guys took quite a while. I was worried. Did anything happen to you guys? That was an amazing experience! A primordial in the flesh! And he was talking to me! Yeah, yeah. Could you calm down a bit? Honestly, I found all that more exhausting than moving. So old! Anyone would be tuckered out after all that, young or old. It certainly was exhausting, yes. I think I'll have to put the rest of my sightseeing plans on hold. Are you visiting Luterome as a tourist, then? That's right. I'm planning to go all around the world. Oh. Liddy? Hey. Is it okay if me and Ed join you? Liddy! I don't want to lose access to someone with the power to help us talk to Primordials. It was him. You sure about that? What was me? He doesn't seem to be aware of it, though. Traveling with this guy could be dangerous. You know that, right? What's the problem? Something with Charles? Uh-huh. Oh, I see. Is he causing trouble somehow? He could be. How terrible! But if you keep this genius around, I can take care of him, no problem. Oh, is that so? Well, in that case, I'm all for it. Your thoughts, Charles? Is that okay with you? If that's your will, my lady.
渦を巻いたうだる夜懐かしい夢を見てたまだ理想像にとらわれたまま胸を締める面影は確かなき身の姿だ獣のぬように爪を立てているあの日の笑顔もあの日の涙もふと思い出しては胸を締めつける僕たちが I'm glad to hear it. Let's go find some lodgings then. Now that there are five of us, we'll need a much bigger room. Huh? Hold on a second. Since when was I in the head count? Huh? What are you talking about? Why are you acting like that isn't a reasonable question? What's the problem? It isn't like you have a real job. Ooh. Are you sure that you want to travel with these people? Don't worry, I'll bump up your fee. <sighs> Gee, thanks. Uh, okay, fine. I mean, it isn't like I had any other pressing plans. I'll hang out a little longer. You should have just said that in the first place. Now, let's find ourselves an inn. Inside the vessel. Real lady, keep up the good work! <laughs>